WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and a slightly mixed bag out there. That mix is coming for the transports, which are trading down 111 points, about 8 tenths of a percent. Otherwise, you've got all the other U.S. indices trading to the upside. Dow's up 120 points, about three tenths of four tenths of percent, basically. Six tenths for the S&P are 24 points. NASDAQ up 163 a little over one and a quarter points. Russell's up seven tenths or 12 points. Semis are up five, about two tenths of a percent to the upside. Gold's up over one percent, 24 bucks. Silver's up 37 cents. That's one and a half percent. Lights recruit is flat. Natural gas is off three pennies. A 30 treasury print out 132.07. Let's go try to figure out what all that means by taking a look at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin in the upper left-hand corner. You've got the ES Mini. The ES Mini still has a sell the D point pattern. That pattern gets negated only with the close about 41.71. Conditions, I would say, are neutral. Price above the top of its profile, above its oscillator and change line. Even though you've got a top there, it's basically a neutral condition. Particularly spot volatility, it says, I don't understand the neutral gear, Stevo. I'm in full out bullish mode because it is trading well below its 50 day exponents moving average and is trading below yesterday's low. That's a bullish signal. If you take a look at the NQ, it did drop back below the top of its daily profile. That was support. Maybe it is support. Maybe, yes, it was just simply a one uh, hit wonder out there, and that the NQ is going to go target. That 13,996 level, that's its A to B equals CD to the upside pattern. U.S. dollar index would negate its buy the D point pattern. And it would do that with a close below 10109. But don't get too carried away on the dollar crashing. Uh, we don't see it here, but it is up against support on a weekly time frame. If we take a look at um, Goldilocks, so gold trading above yesterday's high, trading above the top of its profile right now, suggesting to run up to the 2157 level. I would say more likely than not, it would get well above that, like 22.13. If you take a look at silver, silver negated its TD9 count top yesterday. So I take a look at where price is headed to or likely headed to. I'm just simply looking at the expansion of its last set of swing points. That was from the high of February 2nd down to the low of March the 8th. That gets us up to the 26.29 level. That's 1.272 expansion. Above that, we're looking at 28.01. Light Sweep Crude negated its TD9 count top yesterday, but it's got resistance up at the 84.20 level. That's a top of its weekly profile. Natural gas, even though it's got a Roachman indicator bottom, from a daily standpoint, it's just in a sideways consolidation. And a 30-year Treasury, it's possible it's headed back to support. That would be at the 130.24 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.